Hey everybody, I'm the Lion Hawaiian. Wait a second, that's not who I am. I'm Bo, and welcome back to KH7FC Roving Radio. In today's video, we're going to talk about a MobiLink uh, TNC3, a crossover cable, a Yezu FT60R, and the APRS.FI um, app on my iPhone 12. Stick around. Thanks for sticking around. So I know there's a lot of people, or not necessarily a lot of people, that have done videos on this MobiLink TNC3, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit different because everybody else has been focused on um, on droids. So in the box, uh, they have a little thank you card. Whoops. In the box, they have a little thank you card, a little sticker, and then here's your TNC3. Uh, very simple little device. It's a uh, Bluetooth device. Let's set this to the side, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So what you do is, is you take that device, and you, uh, you hook it to your radio that does not have APRS, and you can do APRS. So let's turn on the, uh, if we go to the website here, you know, mobilink.com, talks about how the MobiLink TNC was in the 2015 QST. And uh, it gives you a little bit of information about that. And then if you click on the shop, it will give you uh, the buy page for this. It is iOS compatible. At the time of recording for this video, it was $119.95. Uh, and it did not cost me anything for shipping. And then um, if you scroll down, it tells you that you're going to need these cables. Click on that link, and it opens up this one. And then I have the Yezu FT60, so I went with, uh, looks like it's on page 2. Go to page 2 here, and it says TNC cable for most models of Yezus. And then something that I did not read was this little highlighted section right here that says this cable is designed for the MobiLink TNC to a radio. None of our cables are to be used directly to connect the radio to the smartphone. So the APRS FI uh, app does have a phone to radio capability and I believe that if you uh, have a radio that has a Vox setting on it you can just do that. Uh, and it costs you like 10 bucks, plus the $7 for the app, and then $7 for the extras for a year. Um, but this cable here is a CT44 adapter, so you need the TNC, because what the TNC does, and I didn't realize this at first, is it actually, um, whenever you plug it into the radio, it closes the loop, or closes the PPT, or PTT rather, uh, so that the radio and the TNC can do what they're supposed to do. Uh, so that's uh, that's all the Moby linked stuff. I'm going to go ahead and open up APRS.FI so that you can see this is roughly where I live right here. And I do not currently have any APRS data in this area uh, with my call sign. So now we're going to uh, show you. I'm going to record the screen on my cell phone. And we're going to show you how to uh, get this TNC connected to your phone. So what you're going to do is you're going to open the MobiLink uh, um, app. You're going to press the one-time press button, the power on button. And mine's already configured, so it automatically grabbed it, as you can see there. And then what you're going to do is, is uh, check your audio settings. And my input audio sounds good. All right. And that just, uh, you change the knob on the volume of the radio itself. And then all of that stuff is good to go. Then I will open the APRS app and go to more. And then TNC DSP modem and hit connect. And 
am now connected and you can see that uh, my um, my signal was just sent out and it just popped up right there on the APRS website as KH7FC Tech 7. So there is a digital gate or an eye gate rather uh, not very far from my house and I have my radio set to um, do five watts so it got picked up down there and then if your beacon is not uh, being sent you can go to the beacon page here and you can make sure that everything is set up as per it needs to be there it is now we can see packets that are coming in so uh, not a hundred percent sure where those locations are so let's zoom out on our map and see if we can figure out where people are coming oh that guy's way up there so I guess there's no uh, there's nothing in the area that's broadcasting but we can see that the uh, KB4 B or sorry K4 BW uh, gateway which is down here is actually uh, sending us packets to my phone so that's how that works all right so for spotting you're gonna go to the message tab you're gonna hit uh, new type in POTA GW and hit send and as you can see I've already done this before then I'm gonna type in my call sign and then I'm going to say K test, but you could put in your number for your park here. And then I'm going to be on 1400 single sideband testing only. And then I'm going to send it. And then it's going to deliver that information over the TNC, which is uh, Bluetooth over. And then I saw that it sent it out. And then I'm going to refresh the POTA website. And give it a minute or so. And there it is. So it does throw a little bit of extra uh, characters into there, but it did take my POTA spot just like that. And uh, that's what you can do. Sorry, I forgot to mention or show, you can do the same thing for Soda. So if you go to sodawatch.com and then Soda, basically the same thing, right? You're gonna put in your call sign, put in your Soda reference. I'm just gonna copy the same one that I used before. And if I can type, and then I saw somebody else do this. And send that. Refresh the soda spots, and there it is. So it works for soda also. And then it also says testing only. So there we go. There's a uh, there's how to get some spots out there. Uh, if you don't have a self signal on your phone, and you have APR's capabilities, you can do it that way. Now I know that there are a couple of ways that you can do it uh, otherwise, but um, I do not do it that way. Uh, and then also, uh, the soda spotter will uh, spot you or send it back to you. So there we go. Uh, appreciate everybody that, that stuck around for this and hope I didn't say ums and ahs a whole lot. And if you stuck around and you're not a subscriber, if you want to subscribe, please do. And if not, uh, I appreciate you watching. 
We'll see you next time.